You are welcome to another video of CLI based network automation using Python Nornia based on Cisco devices. In this section, we will talk about Google Text FSM parser, which helps us to get a structured output when we send monitoring command to network devices in which any information can be easily extracted. In this section, we will learn how to use and implement Text FSM in Nornia, Netmico, and Scrapply plugins in automation. Scripts. As you know, in Nornier Napalm plugin, the output of show monitoring commands are structured in JSON format, which allows us to easily extract information using lists and dictionaries in Python programming language. But in Scrapply and Netmico plugins, to extract a specific information from the output of show monitoring commands, a regular expression must be used to parse the text to get the required information. In this section, we will use Google Text FSM Parser, which help us extract information from the output of show monitoring commands without using regular expression, since it gives us a structured output. In order to use Text FSM, we need to prepare a template file that specifies the required and the format of information. Network to Code is an automation focused company that has already prepared many templates for the most important monitoring commands from many different vendors and operating systems. Templates prepared by Network to Code company is called NTC template. The list of NTC templates can be found in GitHub open source community in NTC template and then template. If you look at the details of the template, the most important vendors and operating systems are in the list of NTC template. It includes also the most important monitoring commands for each device. Comparing with Cisco Jenny, which will be discussed in the next section, more vendors are supported by NTC template, but the list of supported commands are limited. To check inside of a template, as an example, I choose show IP interface brief, show IP underline interface underline brief command the information extracted from this template is interface name ip address and finally physical and line protocol status of the interface the type of the information and the format of the output are also specified in the template file Nornier Netmico and Nornier Scrapply can use Google Text FSM to pass the output of show monitoring commands based on NTC template to easily extract any information. We will use Text FSM with both Scrapply and Netmico since the usage is a little different. In the first script, we use Scrapply to send show IP interface brief command to the network devices and use text FSM to pass the output of this command in order to get a structured output and extract IP address and status of each interface. In this script, I've used our print from the rich library only to display the structured output in a nicer format. Otherwise, there is no difference to use print or R print. To use text FSM in Nornia Scrapply plugin, we have stored the result of show IP interface brief command in the result variable. Any result output will be passed into a structured output using result.scrapply underline response dot text FSM parse output if the command is in the list of supported command in NTC template. The structured output is stored in interfaces variable and it is finally 
printed. The other section of the script are commented and will be discussed after that. Let's run the script and see the result of the script. Python 3, 8, 1. As you can see, the result of the script is a structured output and can be easily processed. The list of interfaces, the IP address of each interface, and physical and line protocol status of each interface are displayed in the output as it is defined in the template. The advantage of a structured output is that it is in the format of list and dictionary, and can be easily processed to extract more specific information like IP address of the interface. How can I understand that what is the format of this output? Is it a dictionary or a list? To process a list, we need a loop. To access any element of the list, to process a dictionary, we give the key and receive the value. Here, I use the type interfaces, interfaces is the name of the variable, type interfaces, keyword to find the type of this or any other variable. Let's uncomment it and comment the rprint interfaces. Now run the script again to see what type of variable interfaces is. The result shows that interfaces variable is in the format of list. Therefore, in the next step, I use a loop to access each element of the list. In the first step, we just print each element of the list which has the same output. Let's check it. Command and uncomment and again run the script as you can see again this is the first element of the list this is the second element of the list and this is the third element of the list to see the type of each element or each component of the list Again, I use the type keyword instead of printing the list, element of the list. Print the type of each element of the list. Each element is stored in the variable interface and the variable itself is interfaces. The type of each element of the list, it will show in the output of our print type interface. Let's run the script and see the result. The output shows that each element of the list is a dictionary, as you can see, and therefore interface, IP address, status, and proto or protocol are the keys of the dictionary. By specifying any of these keys, we can access the value of these keys. Gigabit Ethernet 1, the IP address, and the status and line protocol values. Therefore, in the last line of the loop, I access each element of the output separately by parsing the dictionary's key, interface, IP address, status, and proto and the printing the result in a customized format. Let's again run the script and see the output. As you can see, this is the customized output that I've created in my script and access each value of the dictionary separately through giving the key of the dictionaries, the IP address, the physical status and line protocol status. This is the second script that uses TextFSM in NetMiko plugin. 
to access a specific information of the structured output of the show monitoring commands. In this script, we send show interfaces command which gives us more information of the interfaces compared to the show IP interface brief that we have used in the first script. In Nornier NetMico plugin, unlike Nornier Scrapply, text FSM is activated as an argument when we use a task. Here we store the result of the running task in the result variable. Then with result.result, .result, we have stored the structured output in interfaces variable. Then we repeat exactly what we did with TextFSM in Nornia Scrapply plugin to access a specific information of the structured output. In each step, we check whether the output is a list or a dictionary. If it is a list, we will access element of the list via loop. And if it is a dictionary, we will access each value by specifying the key. First of all, let's run the script and see the complete structured output of the interfaces variable with this command rprint interfaces. Then Python 382. As you can see, this is the structured output of the interfaces gigabit Ethernet 1, giga Ethernet 2. 2 and Giga Ethernet 3, but there are more information compared to show IP interface brief, including physical layer, layer 2, and layer 3 information like IP address. In the first step, we check if the format of the interfaces is a list or a dictionary through the type keyword as we have done in the previous script. So I come uncomment this line and then run the script again. The result of the script shows that the interface variable is a list. Therefore, we need a loop to access the element of the list. Therefore, here is a list. Then we check the type of each element of the list with type interface command in the loop. Let's run a script again. As we expect, each element of the list is a dictionary and we can access the value of the interface with giving the key. For example, interface is the key link status protocol status, hardware type, address, BIA, description, and many other keys that we can see in the output of the interfaces variable. And in the last line of for loop, I access the interfaces name, IP address, and link a status and protocol a status by specifying the appropriate keys let's again run the script and see the customized output this is the customized output that i have created in my script but the value the required value are accessed through the dictionary the ip address the physical status and the line protocol status you can access the script used in this section through GitHub Asset Pool DevNet, Python Nornia 2023, and TextFSM Parser. These two scripts are a script that we have run in this section.